welcome to the last video in my series about moving in Japan. Today's topic is the actual move and settling in. Step 1. Preparing for the move. When I first came to Japan from Australia, I did not bring a lot with me. So most of the stuff that I did bring, I just packed into boxes and sent via Australia Post. The second time I moved from my previous apartment into our current place, I used a company called Art Moving Center and I was very happy with them. I don't know if it's just with this company, but Art gives free quotes. So I just had to arrange a time for them to come, tell them exactly what I wanted them to move and they gave me a quote on the spot. Once I decided to go ahead with art, they provided me with free boxes, packing tape and paper to wrap breakables. If there are items you want to get rid of but you don't want to pay the oversized garbage removal fee, then you'll have to try and give it away or sell it. There are secondhand stores all over Japan. A big one is called Book Off, which is a chain store. Or you could try secondhand buy and sell groups on Facebook like Tokyo Sayonara Sale, Sayonara Sale Nationwide, Kanto Foreigners Classifieds, Motonai Japan, etc. A colleague of mine also used a moving company called Recycle Boy. This is a moving company and recycle shop combined, so apparently they can take away your unwanted items for free or for a fee depending on what it is and of how much use it'd be to them. I will leave links to Recycle Boy, Art and Book Off in the description box below. For your new place, your agent will give you a checklist to go through the property and write down any existing problems with it. Do this process really thoroughly and if possible, bring someone with you as a second pair of eyes because when the time comes for you to leave, you don't want to be blamed or made to pay for anything that wasn't actually your fault. So if there are existing issues or damages, take notes and photos as evidence for your own record. In terms of setting up utilities, this does not take long at all. Water and electricity can be set up online, you just need to specify what day. As for gas and internet, someone needs to be home for that. But gas only takes around 5 to 10 minutes and a little bit longer for internet. Step 2, the actual move. On the day of the actual move, I just had to tell Art where I wanted everything to go in my new place. So have a good idea of where you want things to be so then the movers can put it there for you or at least in the room that you want it to be in, which will be less work for you later. I also had to make my own way to the new apartment, so just check with your moving company about whether or not you have to arrange your own transport. Step 3. Settling in. As I mentioned earlier, I did not bring a lot with me from Sydney, so all my furniture, appliances, etc. were purchased here in Japan. The main stores that I used were IKEA, Nitori, which is like a Japanese IKEA, Yorobashi Kamura, Yamada Denki, and Eon. I will talk more about all these stores and others in future videos. Finally, if you've moved from within Japan, make sure you get a change of address form from the post office so then all your mail can be redirected to your new home. You also need to go to your local ward office to have your address updated there. And of course, don't forget to update your details with other important places too, like the bank, your workplace if you have one, etc. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching my series about moving and renting an apartment in Japan. If you found my videos helpful, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave me any questions you may have in the comment section below or suggestions on what you'd like to see in future videos. I will see you next time. Bye!